Hi friends. Welcome to HVACR Engineers, Be Professional. Previous video, we understand about, face area, free area, core area, and, effective area, of louver. This video, for understand about, how to calculate free area, of a louver, and, how to size the louver. First, we need to simply, understand, what is, free area. Free area, is the total minimum area, of the openings, in the supply outlet, or, return inlet, through which, air can pass. It also, known as, the opening area or see-through area of a louver. Step-by-step, -step procedure, to calculate, the free area of a louver. Scenario 1, calculate, the required free area, and, size of the, new louver. Scenario 2, calculate, the free area, of an existing, or, a given louver. We go through, an example, for SI unit. Step, 1. Consider the air volume, as 3000 cubic meter per hour step 2 consider the free area air velocity as 3.6 meter per second step 3 calculate the free area of a louver so formula of free area square meter equals air volume cubic meter per hour divide by velocity meter per second multiply with 3600 then we'll get the result as square meter therefore Free area equals 3000 divide by 3.6 and multiply with 3600 get the result equals 0.23 square meter so the required free area of louver is 0.23 square meter now go through an example for IP unit step 1 consider the air volume as 1765 cubic feet per minute step 2 Consider the free area, air velocity as, 710, feet per minute. Step, 3. Now calculate, the free area of a louver, formula, of free area, square feet, equals, air volume, cubic feet, per minute, divide by, velocity, feet per minute, then we'll get, the result as, square feet. Therefore, free area equals, 1765, divide by 710, equals, 2.49, square feet. So, the required free area, of louver is, 2.49 square feet. Here is to see, how to determine, the required size, of the louver. We can apply, two methods, to determine, the actual size of louver. Step, 4. First method. Determine, the size of a louver, by using the manufacturer specification, or, using by the free area chart, for 2.38, square feet, free area, the required, louver size is, 60 inches, times, 12 inches equals, 5 square feet. So, the free area percent, is 48 percent. Take note this point. The recommended, louver free area is, about, 45 percent, to, 60 percent. Typically, 50 percent, is commonly adopted, as the standard to follow. Rule of thumb. Most of the cases, using 50%. Step, 4. Second method. Determine, the louver size, based on, typical recommended free area 50%. As per, IP unit. So, total required, louver area equals, free area, multiply with, 1.5, will get the result. 2.38, square feet multiply with 1.5 equals 3.6 square feet as per si unit so total required louver area equals 0.23 square meter multiply with 1.5 equals 0.35 square meter scenario 2 is calculate the free area of an existing or a given louver
Step 1. Measure the dimension of the existing louver. Width equals 1800 mm. Height equals 750 mm. So, the size of the louver is 1800 mm by 750 mm. Step 2. Calculate the total area of the existing louver. Area of the louver is 1800 multiply with 750 equals 1.35 square meter. Step 3. Calculate the obstructed frame area of the existing louver. So, the obstructed frame area of the louver is area of top frame plus area of bottom frame plus center frame area multiply with numbers of frame equals square meter. Estimated frame area equals 0 0.70 square meter. Step 4. Find the free area. Free area of louver equals total area of louver minus obstructed frame area of the louver. Therefore, free area of louver equals 1.35 minus 0 0.70 equals 0 0.65 square meter equals 48% free area.